And indeed, we found it. Now, that was suggested and built uh, mathematically, essentially. There was very little evidence for it at the time, back in the 60s. But over the years, uh, it, the theory called the standard model of particle physics passed all experimental tests. So we got to the point where we thought, right, okay, we, we will build a machine that will either disprove or prove that theory. And the LHC is such a machine. If that theory is correct, which it now seems to be, it, the prediction is you must find the Higgs particle. Uh, the, uh, the LHC, or some kind of Higgs particle. And indeed, we found it. But that's a remarkable thing to think about it, because it was, it's Wigner, one of the great physicists, wrote an essay uh, back in the 60s, I think, called The Unreasonable Effectiveness of Mathematics in the Physical Sciences. And by the unreasonable effectiveness is demonstrated by this discovery, because it really is a mathematical prediction. And then 50 years later, you build the biggest machine ever built, 16 miles in circumference. Most of it's in France, a bit of it's in Switzerland. 10,000 scientists, yeah, 150 thing. countries. You, you, you accelerate protons, the nuclei of hydrogen, around this thing at 99.999999% the speed of light. They go around the 16 miles 11,000 times a second. We can collide 600 million of them together every second to recreate the conditions that were present less than a billionth of a second after the universe began. Photograph it in the biggest digital cameras ever built. One I work on called Atlas is 40, 40 meters in diameter. Huge, vast, vast thing. 7,000 tons of digital camera in a cavern the side of St. Paul's Cathedral underneath the ground in Switzerland. And you find it. You find this thing <laughs> that, that, that this guy, Peter Higgs, working with many other people, predicted to exist 50 years ago because he did some sums. So the universe does behave like that. There is a condensate in the vacuum. It is a Higgs condensate. It does give mass to the other particles. It's right. So it's a tremendous testament to the power of human reasoning, I think. And it means that we understand physics. It means that we, that that's one of the important things about it. It means that our, our understanding of fundamental physics is, is not horribly wrong at the moment. It's, it's good enough to predict something like that, God, which is a remarkable achievement. That is mind-blowing. That it's is truly, truly mind-blowing. <laughs>